okay everyone so now we are going to make a windows application by which we are going to find the parameter of rectangle area of rectangle and area of square and we want that all the results should be shown into the message box so today basically we are learning that how to show the result into the message box so first of all we are going to the file and the new project so here we are creating the new project for our application under the visual basic windows we are clicking on the windows form application and here we are giving this message or the name of this project like area of a rectangle so that is the name of project that's what we are giving we are making the o capital so that we can understand easily area of rectangle pressing okay so here we are going to save this project so it will take certain time to build the project now once the project will build it will show us the form so here on the right hand side we can see that we are having the solution explorer in the solution explorer we are having the name of project area of rectangle and here we are having the form 1 so there we are having the form 1 on the left hand side we are having the toolbox so we are first of all going to drag and drop the label so first label we are taking and we are giving the name of this label so to change the name we know that we have to change the text so here we are putting we are writing length so first of all we are taking the length of rectangle so that is what we have taken length of rectangle and to take the length from the user we are taking a text box here so from the text box we are dragging and dropping now again we are uh, going back and from here we are just dragging and dropping and again we are changing the name let's say we are giving the text as breadth of rectangle so after all we are clicking back so here we can see that here we are having the text now in front of this text we again need one more text box so we are dragging and dropping the text box here now this is about the rectangle but as per the question we want the square area also that's why we are again taking one more label so we are coming up and taking one label now we know that square are having two sides which are same right so all the sides of the square are same so we need a side right so i'm clicking over there and we are writing simply side of square so simply we are writing here so we can see that now we are scrolling down and afterward we are dragging and dropping the toolbox now logically if we see that this length of rectangle and this breadth of rectangle should be together uh, more equal aligned to each other because they both belong to the same part and this one is somewhere separate so this is some other thing because there are two things we are taking now where we want means when the operation will perform we know that we have to drag and drop the button so we will calculate the button here and name we will give to the button is calculate so you can give the name calculate here now after we are clicking back so we can see that our form is ready now this is form 1 we can also give the name to the form by clicking and going to the text property and we can see that simple we can represent form right so you can give any name like it's a form so it is up to you how you want but yeah actual name of form will be the form 1 that will not change it, these are only displayed to the user so right now we have taken length breadth of rectangle side of square and calculate button once i play play means i start debugging we can see that this project will run and here this type of form will come we want that we enter the length of rectangle let's say 10 breadth of rectangle let's say 20 so here it calculate the area and also we enter at the same time let's say side of square so all the things should be calculated at the same time by click on the button so that means coding should be here on the button 
so we are going back to the project we are double clicking on the button now this button code will open this is the button code here now what we want we know that there are three text boxes text box 1 text box 2 and text box 3 so all these three are taking the input from the user that's why we need minimum three variables so we are declaring three variables here dim means declare let's say length breadth side as double so we are taking the three variable as the double type so length went and side so you can see that these three are the unused variable right now in the length we are taking the length from the text box one so we are saying l is equal to text box one we are scrolling down putting the tab then put dot from here text box one we need the text so we click on the text then afterward put the tab so here you know that the text box one text is going into the l but what we want we want the value so this text should be converted to value that's why we are applying the val function means the value the text box one text should be converted to the value then going back to the l so this text box one text converted to value and going to the l similar way we are working with the breadth also so breadth is equal to we are applying the val function then text box two dot text so that is what we are doing here then again length breadth and side so side is equal to val val is for the conversion then text box three dot text so this way we can take the three inputs here so all the three inputs one two and three we have taken in the three variables l b and s length and breadth these two are of the rectangle and side is for the square now to calculate the area of rectangle parameter of rectangle and area of square we need three more variables so we are taking parameter of rectangle por then area of rectangle por then area of square as aos so three variables we have taken now these three variables are coming into unused now what we want first of all we are calculating the parameter of rectangle we know that parameter of rectangle is equal to 2 into l plus b so here we are taking l plus b so here we are writing 2 into there should be the 2 so that is the formula parameter of rectangle is equal to 2 into length plus breadth so that is the parameter now talking about the area of rectangle we know that that is equal to length into breadth so that means l into b so from first two we have successfully calculated the parameter and the area now from the last one which is the side of square we need the area we know that area of square which is aos is equal to side square so side into side so that is the area of square so successfully we have calculated this with the help of uh, these functions now afterward our task for this project or the program is to display the message box means we want that result should be displayed into the message box or the pop-up box so for that we are having msg box so message box put the tab then afterward in the bracket in double quote whatever the message we want to say we are writing here let's say we are saying parameter of rectangle so that's what we are writing here parameter of rectangle double quotes close so this is a message just like we are having the concatenation operator sometimes we are having the comma somewhere we are having the double uh, backside so different different things are there as per the different programming languages but here we are having the and operator so we are writing the and operator 
parameter of rectangle so por is the variable so now again what we are doing again we are going for the area of rectangle msg box put the tab in the bracket we are writing some comment like area of rectangle we are writing here double quotes close so this was a string and we are concatenating with aor area of rectangle so that is done second thing we have displayed now talking about the third thing msg again put the tab again bracket start a string if you want let's say you are saying area of square if you are not providing the string then you don't need to provide this and right you can simply write aos then only that result will be displayed string will not be displayed but yeah we want that it should be attractive that's why we have given the string also and the concatenation so you can do it like this also you do not provide this complete thing you simply write this so only the result will be displayed but yeah for the attractive output or we should also know what is the answer this answer is for what that's why we are writing here so area of square that we are writing here and putting the concatenation operator so this is how our program is complete now we are going to run this program and see how it is going to work so first of all i am just start debugging so here we are having the form so here we are having the three inputs so three inputs we can provide we know that the first two inputs that are for the length and the breadth of rectangle let's say we are giving the length as 10 and breadth as 20 we can give any of the value which we want let's say you can provide the breadth if you want 5 it is totally up to you now talking about the square we are providing let's say the square side is 20 so these three inputs we have given this is text box 1 2 and 3 now when i click on button what will happen after clicking of button here this code of button will run it will declare lbs three variables por aor and aos three more variables now these three inputs 10 5 and 20 will be stored to length breadth and side it calculate parameter of rectangle area of rectangle and area of square now afterward it is showing the message box parameter of rectangle which is por so you can see that parameter of rectangle is 30. now here the program got stuck because once i press ok it will be going to the next line so this is the area of rectangle right now now if i click ok it is going to the next line it is saying area of rectangle so after the parameter now we are having the area of rectangle now if i click it to go to the next line which is area of square so here we are having the area of square that is 400 so if i press ok now i can close so this is how we can make the program and we can show the output with the help of the message box